<laughs> you will see uh, this was the year where they put the the recliner uh, mechanism here on the side so you push up get it going push it up and now you're able to move the seat forward um, I think this happened some way in midway 67 earlier 67 sticks actually didn't they still kind of uh, manipulated uh, the backrest from down here um, also you want to understand too is when you buy the correct vinyl whether it's black or tan you know there's no seam on the top of the backrest this seam actually goes over okay so a lot of times you might buy um, generally this there's websites out there that sell the, uh, the TMI material uh, from say 65 to 67 and they're gonna have a seam at the top of the seat which actually isn't correct it's supposed to go around um, and then also uh, seat belts are one year only here it's just a lap belt but it's the type of belt that just goes into this this sheath here uh, and as you can see here it's got like a hook and this is what makes it you just hook it back into the, the door pillar and that's it it kind of rests itself there uh, again one year only it's not a three-point belt it's just a two-point belt that just kind of laps over and goes into and hooks onto that ring as you can see here okay so now let's look at the dashboard now this was the last year in the US market for the hard dash now again I get best of both worlds people like the hard dash the collectors today the purists um, it's still got a very vintage feel to it you know once they hit 68 they started putting a black plastic um, safety feature sort of a dash pad on the, the hard uh, dash here so a lot of guys like this hard dash and it's the last year for that 67 one year only the dash knobs the knobs on 67 were actually black uh, rubber uh, as opposed to in the early years they were like an, uh, an ivory or a gray hard plastic knob uh, they started I guess safety features I don't know um, they had these these rubbery knobs to them um, same with the warning light down here the hazard light also has a black rubbery finish on it as opposed to a hard knob that they had in 66 uh, my radio actually should have something similar to that uh, the knob should be like a like a knob that looks very close to this um, this knob here uh, should be on the knobs on the radio as well um, but overall that's that's basically it with the dash uh, as you can see here you know it's last year where the fuel gauge also is in the grill uh, once they went to 68 the fuel gauge then turned to the speedometer so it's uh, another last feature uh, also and then the chrome too the chrome moldings on the dash you know that's last year for this as well 68 they got rid of all that also unique to 67 too if you look at the ashtray 66 and earlier actually had a knob on the ashtray but uh, in 67 they changed that they got rid of the knob and there's a you pull it from below and that's what opens the ashtray um, as you can see here the metal has a little bit of a bend in it so you can get your hand in there to open it up and close it another correct feature on the dashboard which I forgot to mention too is the radio it should be the sapphire V radio which was correct for 67 okay so that was some of the most obvious changes for the famous 1967 Beetle okay I showed you a lot of the one-year features the most obvious one-year features that were on the car if you go to Eric's website he's gonna have a list on there of some of the other changes that went on and some more detailed information of what actually did change and what was one year only but I'm presenting here to you the most obvious uh, that you can point out if you are looking to pick up a 67 a uh, couple of the things I wanted to point out too this was also the first year where they went with the dual master cylinder okay and the brake reservoir also changed in 67 and they also went to the anti-sway Z bar uh, in the rear end area and that also lasted until 68 and then after that they went to the IRS so uh, those were some of the most obvious uh, changes again and if you want the correct distributor for your 1500 cc motor uh, on Eric's website he'll have the correct vacuum advanced distributor uh, should be that short stubby distributor with the with the vacuum advance on I like I said I went with the 009 uh, with the electronic ignition it works really well with that with the old carburetor that's on this motor so I opted for that I like the cleaner look of uh, in the motor compartment 
So, but other than that, that about does it. So if you have any other questions, you can email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. And uh, hope to hear from you. Take care. Um.